recent news media, I've heard about something, and I thought it'd be fun to go and address that today. Recently, uh, there was at a UFC fight between uh, uh, Anderson, uh, what, Anderson Silva, I'm not, I don't know these guys' names too well, but, uh, and uh, I think Victor Belfort, and he knocked him out with a front kick to the chin. But I heard the rumor that he invented the front kick. Now, that I don't know because I've not met the guy to tell me that, but that's the rumor. So if that is the rumor, I want to go ahead and address the, the different various ways to do the front kick and, uh, and also how to improve the front kick. And so there are different types of front kicks you got to first understand depending on what you want to do. The distancing, you're going to use your lead or reverse or you're going to be skipping it depending on the varying distances. In order to create a greater impact, a lot of you, when you do your board break, one of the reasons why it doesn't work is because you're doing a push kick. So they're going to push, use it as like a jab and then you set it up for different combinations. So you'll do a push kick and come up with a leg. You have to create the impact and that speed uh, times mass equals an acceleration, right? So it's about how quickly you snap. But it is also about the recoil. I did thrust. So it's recoiling when I snap. So here, it's on the hip back. How you use your foot and what area of the foot you use will, be, will differ. I can use the ball of my foot point my toe and hit and kick up upward to the instep, not kicking at it here, straight at the point. Uh, where, why, you know, kicking that is a dead ball or whatever it is because of your testicles and you hang down here. So you have to kick upward. For self-defense, especially with ladies or guys, you know, you have, uh, you have shoes on. You want to use the heel. You want to drive that heel right into solar plexus. Drive your bone up into the to the, to the face, and by pushing your little hip a little bit more and more, you can do a heel kick right up to the up to the chin, and not use just the ball of the foot. So you just the lead push kick, just push. So it was a push one. If my foot is standing like this, and it just stays there, it doesn't turn my hip. So there is no penetration. It is this foot that bought your standing foot that's going to turn, that's going to go ahead and push your hip forward and recoil. Here, recoil, do the same kick, but I'm going to shuffle. So from here, I'm not going to take the foot back. Now it's way too far from my target. He wanted to just advance, and now I'm too, way too close. So rather than doing that, I'm going to go ahead and shuffle my leg back. And this foot's already turned. I'm not ready. My hip is already open. Ready to go ahead and do it. I'm shuffling. One, and speed is important to slap. And when I mean that, come back. I want to deliver the force all the way through and push with that hips. Contact on the knee. It's here. Your toes are caught. All toes all the way back. You want to push with that hip. And drive. Once again, push here. Let's go ahead and push it back. Right? It is snapping. My left hip is off the ground. And that's the that's the kick hip thrust we have. And it puts up. And practice hold and be up. Pick up the knee, extend, pull back, and down. Pick the knee up, push, and down. Now we're starting a little lower. Okay? Pick up the knee, push. And normally when you're jump kick for practice, if you're going to drive it forward, it's not so much I'm going up, but I'm going to drive it forward. It's all the hip. Oh, my arm. I'm trying to get across. 
Once again, thank you for joining us tonight. Thank you very much.